Hey guys, welcome back to Coffee Cats and Chats. It's been a while. I hope you all had a great. Oh, sorry, my, my shirt. <laughs> Try not to flash, yeah. Um, but yeah, I hope you all had a great uh, Thanksgiving long weekend. Hope you got full of good food and spent it with some people that you love. So today we are going to be reviewing, like the title says, the da 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 Dove Exfoliating, I don't even know if that's centered, sorry guys, Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in the Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk kind. There's two other kinds, it's like a kiwi and then a pomegranate kind. So anyways, I got this to uh, review through Top Box, which is like a review slash um, subscription company that's online and anyways if you're down for getting like just samples of stuff I also got like primer and body lotion and lots of stuff actually through this top box thing you guys should check it out and sign up and so yeah we are going to be reviewing this and uh, I'll go over like what the texture is the scent and everything and then I'm gonna go take a bath and get unskankified and somewhat <laughs> and then I'll be back and we'll talk more about it um, so right now I will go through I guess I'll go through the ingredients when oh I just dropped that on top of my coffee as you can oh there we go dripping coffee on the corner <sighs> sorry guys long 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 week and a long weekend it was so much I had a good weekend though and I hope all of you did too everyone deserves a good Thanksgiving weekend and so yeah, I will just go over this. So I guess for right now, <laughs> I'll caffeinate and then I will open this up and we'll talk about it. So it just says reveal, oh, I'll show you. reveal silky smooth skin with new Dove exfoliating body polish by exfoliating and restoring skin's natural nutrients. So. Uh, it just says how to use in shower or bath, scoop a generous amount of body polish with hand, spread all over body in a circular motion and rinse. Follow with Dove Body Wash or a Dove Beauty Bear. So, um, I actually don't have Dove Body Wash. I might actually have a Dove bar of soap under my sink somewhere. Um, as I've reviewed before, Dove tends to use animal products, so I've been t actually trying to avoid, um, buying Dove, going out of my way to buy it, because, yeah, I just, sorry Dove, not going to support that. So, yeah, anyways, let's open this, enough of that took, so, it's just a little, like, thing, cardboard thing around this little pouch, this foil packet thing, and Charles is coming upstairs, I'm not home, or, um, I'm not home alone this time, so... Hi! <laughs> Anyways, continuing on, I'm going to open this up. It doesn't really have like an... I guess this edge is like kind of easy open flappy. And then I'm going to peel it open. So it wasn't that hard to open. Ooh. It looks really nice. It has a really nice like creamy thick texture to it. It smells really nice. Um, Smells like something I've used before, but you can see the crushed macadamia nut. Sorry, it's not focusing on it there. The crushed macadamia nut in it, and um, yeah, it's just like this little off-white color, but it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to just smooth it on, and we'll do like, I guess, my impression of just looking at it, judging a book by its cover, I guess, if you want to say that, and then we'll, once I go and take my bath, I'll tell you guys how I enjoyed it, and then we'll go on to a little deeper into the ingredients, because you know that I like to be anal and look at them weirdly. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to, like, show you guys the texture. Ooh, sorry. So as you can see, it's quite thick, so I'm going to just, I'll use my arm right here. Sorry, it's really bright. Focus on my arm. There. Ooh, it feels really nice, not gonna lie. It's nice and smooth and it's not hard. It's got tiny granules in it. <laughs> Bye. Uh, tiny granules in it, so it's not super rough. Like the macadamia nut doesn't feel like it's tearing my skin up. But yeah, so anyways, as you can see, oh, it's not really. 
it feels really nice and luxurious and so I'm gonna go get a bath and test the rest of it out on the rest of my body because you guys don't need to see that and I'll be back and we will discuss the rest of it soon see you guys soon bye here's a little fun fact never thought that I should maybe you know take my sweater off first before applying this so I've already tried scraping it off and now I'm just gonna have to end up washing my sweater <laughs> that just made me sound a lot more dirtier than I am right now it's just a sweater that needs to be hand washed so um yeah it's it's a pain in the butt so some of you will feel my pain there I think anyways I will be back see you guys shortly bye hey guys I'm back so um I took a bath and I didn't follow up with a beauty bar like it said that you should um I just did it and it like again it felt really nice on the skin it had a really fine gritty texture and then it had like slightly bigger grit to it like the actual crushed nuts and then I don't know what sort of silk, sandy silty stuff was in it but it did feel nice on the skin it felt very moisturizing as well um, I do suggest maybe using it as a shower thing just as it's much easier to clean off of yourself uh, it and if you do use it in the tub use it at the very end of your bath because it leaves the bathtub quite gritty um, but yeah so, oh, and a side note, the reason that I didn't want to wash this is this hand wash. And last time that I washed it, I hung it outside. This was just like a week or two ago on a nice day. And I hung it outside and then I took everything in later and I was like, oh, I'll throw this on. And I threw it on and I was sitting here and I had it on for like... 30 minutes, 45 minutes. I had it on for quite a while. And then all of a sudden, like, I was like, huh, you know, my wrist feels itchy. Like, so I was just like, oh, and then I was like itching it. Like I had my sleeves rolled down and I was just like that. And I was just like, oh, like there's something in there. And I was like, it's probably a stick. And then I was like, oh God, is it a bug? And I peeled it back. One of those Fucking, excuse my language, but giant stink bug things was the giant longhorn beetle guys was chilling in my wrist like area and I just like smushed them all around on my wrist because I was itching it thinking it was itchy but really it was thinking then thinking it was a stick and it was a bug and it was just freaking awful so I'm suffering a little bit of trauma from <laughs> that incident because I hate bugs. I, I I just do. I hate bugs. Yep. So anyways, uh, yeah, continuing on, um, the scent of the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish was like a, a really florally scent, very nice, um, with a little bit of a sweet hint to it, which I think is like the macadamia nut and rice milk portion to it. But anyways, it smelled really good too. It felt good. So it was all good looking at it through, like, judging a book by its cover. Good lord, I can't speak. And anyways, continuing on, we'll take a deeper look into the ingredients. So one of the ingredients, as in the title, is macadamia turnifolia seed oil. And it's a highly emollient oil, which is beneficial to all dry and aging skin. So awesome, love that. We got oriza sativa germ oil, aka rice germ oil. Main benefit is its wonderful deep moisturizing capability. This is due to its combination of vitamin E and fatty acids which go deep into skin to hydrate. Considered an anti-aging secret in Japan actually. And then next up is Ariza Sativa Bran Extract, aka Rice Bran Extract, and that's rich in oil and essential fatty acids. Rice Bran Extract is used in skincare for its skin soothing enzymes and antioxidant properties. So that's cool to know. Next up, we have cocamide propyl betaine, which is derived from coconut oil and dimethylamino propylalamine. What, 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 what? <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. It's used as a skin conditioning agent. Um, there are contamination concerns due to impurities in the manufacturing process. So Environment Canada classifies it as expected to be an environmental toxin. Uh, it doesn't say anything about being harmful to humans, but you know, if it's harmful to the environment, you derive your own answers from that. Oh, oh my God. Next up, we have sodium tallowate. Now, this is what I was talking about before when I said uh, how Dove uses animal byproducts. So, it's derived from rendered animal fat. Tallow is in the name, so it's tallow. So, boo. 
So, I, well, I shouldn't be so harsh, you know? Like, I mean, if you're a vegan, obviously that's a big no-no. You're gonna want to stop buying Dove if you do. But I'm sure if you're vegan, you've already done the research and you, and you know. So anyways, um, but yeah, uh, like if it's, it's all just about how they get their tallow, I guess, is what concerns me. If it's, you know, byproducts from a, a beef manufacturing, um, then I don't know, you know? So I, I hate to judge super hard, but I'm still not going to support that because, you know, if they're going to be using animal byproducts, then what says that they're not going to be testing on animals? Not saying that they do, that this Unilever dove, you know, this company does. But anyways, they do use rendered animal fat in their products. So not a huge fan of that. Continuing on, sorry for rambling. We have Feeny Up. Phenoxyethanol, which you've heard me mention before, it's used as a preservative. The European Union classifies it as toxic slash harmful, while Environment Canada does not. So, um, yeah, that's up to you to decide if you think it's harmful or not. Um, next up is tetrasodium EDTA, which is used as a chelating agent, which means it's used to sequester and decrease the reactivity of metal ions that may be present in a product. I hope that clears it up. <laughs> um, the European Union states that there is a limited evidence of eye toxicity if used around the eyes, um, and Environment Canada classifies it as expected to be toxic slash harmful. So that's interesting to know. And then next up is non-fat dry milk. It's in there, which is, apparently it's hair and skin conditioning agent. So interesting. Next up is sodium lauryl sulfate, which is used as a cleansing agent. Environment Canada classifies it as expected to be toxic slash harmful, though. And then last but not least is titanium dioxide, which is used as an opacifying agent to give it some color, make it white. And um, it also, this I've mentioned it before, causes cancer only if inhaled, though. Um, this is not exactly a product that is likely to be inhaled, <laughs> but uh, so yeah, we're just gonna grab my little Frank Sinatra here to help me get a rating in just a sec. He's actually asleep right here. Can you hear Shoonies? Shoonistine. Oh, there we go. Say hi. Hi everyone! He's like, oh god, help. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> yeah, how many francs are we gonna give this Frankie? Oh, oh, I have the battery notice on there, sorry guys. So we're giving this one out of five francs. Hmm? Yeah, it was a good boy, there you go. You go off and sleep two feet away. So yeah, one out of five francs. Stop using animal fat, Dove. That's just all I have to say about that. Um, yeah. It's just not exactly... I mean, I'm a meat eater, but I don't rub it all over my body, you know what I'm saying? So I guess that's just the weird thought that I have in my head. I'm, I'm not perfect in that thought process, but... So yeah, um, not a huge fan that they continue to use animal fat, so yeah. Anyways, that's, that's that, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. There is some detours, and it wasn't really exactly smooth, but you know, that's life, and this is honesty, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I look forward to doing another one soon, I'm really hoping. I have to do, sorry, I have Frankie fur all over my face now. <laughs> And, um, yeah, so I'm going to do another mail call because I have a bunch of samples that I also got through Topbox that I'll show you guys. And like I said, you guys should sign up for it because they are a great subscription review company. And, um, yeah, it's really cool. So I'll be talking to you guys soon, and thanks for watching, and we will talk soon. Long weekend. I'm still suffering, like, turkey brain going on here. I hope everyone's enjoying their lovely meals. I'm sure a lot of people are eating today. I ate yesterday and it was awesome. So I will like look forward to seeing all your delicious meal pictures. Post them because it's yummy and I'm going to live vicariously through you. Well, I'll still be eating leftovers. So, you know, that's not bad. Anyways, talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.